We all need water to survive. But sometimes, you're better off getting as far away as possible from that tricky H2O. Venture near any of these bodies of water, and you might pay for it with your life. Or at the very least, you'll get a nasty rash for a while. Hey, is it itchy in here, or is it just me? Don't jump in, because these are the most dangerous bodies of water in the world. Rio Tinto Located in Andalusia, Spain, Rio Tinto is less of a river and more of a toxic cocktail of heavy metal mining byproducts and acid drain-off. The end result is these technicolor waters that run 62 miles to the Gulf of Cadiz. But even though the waters are too dangerous for humans, they aren't devoid of life. Extremophile bacteria, which are bacteria that are capable of living in extreme conditions, live in Rio Tinto, feeding off the sulfide and iron in the riverbed's rocks. The presence of these microbes has attracted the attention of scientists, who believe the river's out-of-this-world conditions are similar to other worlds, like Mars and Jupiter's moon, Europa. Chicharum River Despite being the water supply for about 28 million people, the Chicharum River in West Java, Indonesia, is one of the world's most polluted rivers, if not the most polluted. The river is so screwed up because hundreds of different industries have made a habit of contaminating this water, dumping in waste from textile manufacturing, garbage, and humans. Are you sure this water is sanitary? It looks questionable to me! The river feeds into rice paddies and the water gets collected and boiled for cooking and drinking. But the river's outlook isn't completely grim. In 2011, a 15-year, $4 billion rehabilitation project began to save the river and the people who depend on it. Here's to hoping that it'll be money well spent. Boiling Lake Dominica's Boiling Lake is the hottest hot spring in the world. Located in a pleasant-sounding area known as the Valley of Desolation, Boiling Lake reaches temperatures ranging from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's just around the edges. No one has ever gotten close enough to measure the temperature at the center of the lake. Getting there makes for a beautiful hike, but you definitely don't want to go swimming. Sometimes couples sneak up here for a hot dip and some hot nookie. Blue Lagoon the bright blue water in Britain's Blue Lagoon may look inviting, but it actually comes from the toxic chemicals found in the rocks, which raises the pH of the water to a caustic 11.3. In other words, taking a dip here is like swimming in bleach. The water has been dyed black a few times to get people to stay away, but like a scheming alien fluid, the water always returns to blue, beckoning swimmers into its embrace. Horseshoe Lake California is the home of sun, surf, and movie stars, and at least a few poisonous lakes, like Horseshoe Lake, located in the Mammoth Lakes area of Mono County. The area around the lake teems with highly concentrated carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide from local volcanoes, a toxic mix that's wiped out 170 acres of trees and a few people. Mono Lake Also located in California, Mono Lake is one of the U.S.'s oldest lakes and one of its deadliest. With no outlet, large amounts of salts have been deposited in the lake, making it almost three times as salty as the ocean. While all this salt has resulted in some amazing tufa columns, it has also made the lake super dangerous for swimmers. Brine shrimp, flies, and a certain type of algae are the only things that live there. Of course, the lake isn't always toxic. The toxicity varies depending on the water's depth. Still, is that a chance you really want to take? Lake Kivu this lake in Rwanda isn't dangerous just because of its location. It's deadly because of the huge methane gas and carbon dioxide deposits trapped beneath the lake. All it would take is some agitation from something like a volcanic eruption to set off those gases. Since there are plenty of volcanoes in the area, Kivu is basically a big watery time bomb. And this isn't purely hypothetical. Similar incidents have occurred in the past. At Lake Neos, carbon dioxide released from the lake took out an entire village overnight in 1986. A deadly natural gas has left at least 1,200 people dead. And methane can explode, even when it's coming out of a lake. Luckily, plans to extract those gases are currently underway, and the methane will be used to generate electricity for Rwanda. It's a win for everybody. Lake Karachai Russia is known for great authors, cold winters, Tetris, and unfortunately, nuclear disasters. Now it's on track to becoming known for radioactive water, thanks in part to Lake Karachai. Located in the Ural Mountains, the lake was a radioactive dumping ground for years, a radioactive mix made worse by the Kishtim containment disaster in 1957. Simply standing by the lake for about an hour exposes anyone to a lethal dose of radiation, making this probably the deadliest place on the planet. It's definitely not the best vacation spot, unless you want that vacation to be your last. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.